Africa has been pegged as one of the key hubs for development in the future, and the availability of engineering skills will be critical in the implementation of much-needed new infrastructure on the continent. But how important is green engineering in all this? Hope Punga Mashile is founder of Fikinduku Engineering and Projects. Thank you so much for joining us, Hope. Pleasure, Candy. Now, you are part of the team that worked on greening the Absa Towers uh, West. There's no doubt then that the future um, of engineering is about moving towards greener buildings. But when we talk about green engineering, what are we talking about here? What is it? Green engineering is, is just a, a new way of thinking. Uh, it's, it's, it's making sure that your, your impact, the impact to your environment is actually as light as possible, making sure that you use materials that are not uh, harmful to the environment and to human beings, making sure that uh, th the buildings that you build are not uh, uh, using uh, paints that, 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 are, that are harmful to human beings, uh, making sure that you, you, you save energy in, in the way you design, making sure you use as, as little water as possible in and around the building, whether you're talking in the toilets or you're talking outside watering the, the, the plants. So it's. It's, it's just making sure that you, you, look, you look at the total life cycle costing of everything that you do rather than just the capital costs. Mm. Now, what are some of the costs and energy savings that are um, part of green engineering? Well, green engineering is, is very general or generalistic. Uh, when you're talking about uh, buildings that are green, uh, the, the, there's a Green Star rating in South Africa run by the Green Building Council, of which I'm a board member. Um, we, we then uh, have frameworks that we operate around to be able to grade different buildings, uh, whether we give them four stars or five stars or six stars if they're really uh, world class or world leaders. Um, so you're talking about the entire building fabric, not just energy per se. And therefore, the, the better your building performs, whether it's on an energy or material use type of situation, the, the, the better the grading. And, and just to give you an idea, the energy efficiency standards in South Africa are still behind the lowest grading of a, of a building is, uh, that, that the Green Star rating can give, which is a four-star building. Mm. So I, I was actually going to ask you about that because I mean I'm looking at South Africa and how we compare with the likes of say the US or Europe. Where are we? Where should we be? Um, and why should we care about green engineering? Mm. Our climate is very much like uh, the Australian climate, and, and therefore we adopted the Green Star uh, framework from Australia, but uh, uh, customized it for South Africa. And therefore, when you look at the progress that Australia has made against what South Africa has made, uh, we're sitting on uh, almost 17 buildings that have been graded in South Africa, which is not far off uh, in terms of uh, maturity when you look at where Australia was when they founded their Green Building Council. I mean, this year alone, we have five buildings that have been graded in South Africa. And so everybody's starting to uh, understand the value that uh, green building and sustainable uh, engineering brings to the fore. Mm. Let's move to general engineering um, and to move to VEP. What's your core focus? What are you doing to make engineering the profession of choice? <laughs> Uh, you're talking about my passion right there. Uh, Vegan Dugu was started in 2005 to basically harness a group of young, young engineers who had passion and, and, and a whole lot of energy with regards to how they wanted to, to affect the environment, the engineering environment. We are consulting engineers and we, we, we do do normal uh, uh, engineering designs and implementations, but our, we saw a key focus, a key selling uh, point that was missing in, in, in every other company, which was what you were terming green design, which is energy efficient, in, energy efficient design or sustainable design, where you look not just at the initial capex cost, but the entire running costs, as well as the the costs to, to, to recoup that, uh, that equipment after it has been functioning for a long time. So maintenance and operation and energy costs are also included in there. Uh, in most green buildings you find a whole lot of recycling as well, whereby you take the water and you recycle it and reuse it and, mm. and therefore there's, a, there's very little wastages. Vegan Dugu has seen, has seen has saw this, uh, this, this competitive edge and took it upon itself to say, let's see if we can 
introduce our clients to that type of design and that type of thinking where you don't just look at the capex cost. So if you can do who does the, the, the engineering, the electrical and mechanical uh, and project management services, but we do make sure that we, we let the client know that there are better ways of being able to harness the true value of, of your infrastructure in, instead Absolutely. of just the capex cost. Yeah, and we'll leave it at that. But thank you so much, Hope, for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, that was Hope Ngama Shile, and he's founder of Ikinduku Engineering and Projects. Thanks for watching.